Hi, this is Catlin with a quick tutorial on how to create a Remind 101 account. Remind 101 is awesome to start right before we begin a new school year because you can set up your classes and your groups and on the very first day of school you can get your students signed up. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out this welcome page with all the information that they need. Um, let's see, which email do they not have? Click complete sign in once you've got all the information. And remember, you probably want that email to be the email you don't mind getting some updates and some information to. So maybe it's your school email if you want to keep all school related stuff in one place. So we're going to go ahead and add your first class. So I'm going to say my first class is 2, oops, 2A English. And click add. And then over on this left-hand column, I can add additional classes. So 3A English. And then I can create class code. So this is a unique code that your students and or your parents will use to join the class. So I typically make them really simple, like 3A English. And that seems, oh, that code won't work. 3A Tucker. Okay, that code isn't taken. So those, I'll probably make it 2A Tucker, 3A Tucker, 4A Tucker. Um, and so as we go through, we can go ahead and share the code with students. That's how they are going to get their alert. So I can email the, the code to a whole class and it will explain exactly how they should sign up for the class. In years past, all I've done is I've actually projected this class code over here, so you see it right here, I projected that onto the board and just told students on the first day of school, go ahead and text our class code to this number. So they put the number in the phone and then in the message field they would put at 3A Tucker and then people would subscribe to that particular class. And then as you have subscribers, they'll show the list of your students right here. Now what I would recommend is in the beginning of the year you create a class for a group for each of your classes and also create a group for your parents. So if you have a group of academic parents versus honors parents making a separate group since your announcements to both those groups of parents might be slightly different. You can, when you're creating your messages, you can schedule them to go out at a different time than you've actually created the message. So sometimes if I get an, a, a note in my box, in my teacher box, it says something like, um, here are the SAT exam dates for your area, I'll actually send out alerts to all my parents about the exam dates um, and deadlines and then schedule them to go out using this feature. Um, I also now, one of the newer features is coming year, is that I can attach documents. So I can attach a syllabus or a reminder sheet or if I want to tell parents, hey, there's this project coming up, I can also attach the actual handout of the project. So very cool. And then below here, you can see all of your scheduled um, messages that are going to go out. Now clearly I just started this account so I don't have any scheduled messages and then anything you've sent in the past. And if you have a scheduled message that has not gone out yet, you can at any time edit and change that message as well. Um, and then what's kind of a nice aspect of Remind 101 is that if it's a little later in the evening, sometimes I'll have reminders for students about you know, we're going to be in the computer lab or, hey, we're going on a field trip tomorrow. Don't forget to bring water and wear comfortable shoes. But if you're trying to send it past like nine o'clock at night, it'll just give you a little reminder. Like it's kind of late. Are you sure you want to be texting your students this message at this point in the evening. And so little things like that make it really easy to use, super helpful tool, and it's a one-way form of communication. So I can send my students updates and messages and corrections if I've made a mistake in class. Um, I can let parents know about projects and deadlines, but they cannot text you back, which is also kind of wonderful, this one-way flow of information. So I hope it is a useful resource for everyone else. I have thoroughly enjoyed Remind 101 the last year.